What's up? It's Eric. I've got the Arma Typhon 6S back out for another shot at the uh, long jump record. Uh, if you guys know, uh, Big Squid RC has the world record currently at 262 feet. And also Greg Sopa from Horizon, uh, Horizon Fest this past year got 261. So I'm definitely set out to beat both of those numbers. There's a lot of changes I had to make to the car to do this kind of stuff. It's also basically set up for a speed run because uh, we're trying to get uh, pretty close to 100 miles an hour. As far as the um, inside here, I'm running a Castle 2200 motor. Uh, paired with a, a Mamba Monster 2 ESC. I've got a 34 tooth limitless spool in there So I'm running 30 34 gearing. Uh, this car is fully M2 CFI from head to toe uh, This car would not be able to take this kind of punishment and these kind of a jump attempts without being fully M2 CFI So again big shout out to the guys at M2C Racing Avery and Mitchell Looper I'll put a link in the description for all the M2C upgrades if you guys want to check it out and fully a uh, beefcake of your uh, Typhon It does have a hot racing diff case in the back as well. I'm running hoons on it I got a CNHL uh, China Hobby Line pack in here 6s pack super powerful packs it's probably the best packs you can do for speed runs We've got her strapped in there pretty good so we're gonna give her a quick shot and see what's up all right guys I got these cones set out at 260 feet because uh, 262 is the uh, number to beat to uh, beat the world record so uh, again I got these cones set at 260 I'll uh, measure it out at the end if we end up uh, beating it just so, uh, so you guys can see that so the ramp is a uh, 260 feet that way we'll see what she'll do Pretty good jump. All right, guys, attempt number one. There's the 260. Here she sits. So we're just a few feet short of it. So let's try it again. That was on out there. It looked like it hit the 260. All right, guys, on that one. She just uh, landed and bounced over. She's right there at the 260. We got to get a few more feet out of her. Come on, baby. <laughs> so thanks taking a beating. She's still running. All right, guys, I pulled the wing off of it. The wing does cause tons of drag, so uh, it's going to be kind of sketchy uh, keeping this thing straight coming in at high speed. Uh, but hopefully that's going to give us that extra few feet, so we'll see what's up. Oh, power loss. <laughs> and stuck the landing. Damn, not sure what happened. That'll be a durability test for sure. If I can find her out here. Wish they would cut this grass. There she is. Yeah, I don't know what happened. All right, guys, found the problem. Had a motor wire come unplugged, I guess off the ramp. So we're gonna get that fixed real quick. Try it again. Oh, <laughs> a little bit nose heavy on that one tire. It looked like it blew the tire off. <laughs> so if I can find the tire. That's where the car sits right now. We're at 265 feet. I have to look at the footage again to make sure, but she hit right in here and then bounced over. So I guarantee you that's still a 263 to 264 range. So I'm definitely going to take that, guys. It's, uh, it's been a long road. It's been really hard to get this thing past uh, just 260 feet. It's a lot harder than you think. I've uh, been out here many times doing this. A lot of trial and error, car setups, uh, ramp setup. So uh, I'll take it for now. It looks like the tire just knocked clean off. I'm not sure what happened, <laughs> if, the, if the rim cracked or what, but uh, I gotta find the tire. Everything else looks all right. Got a little crack in this arm right here, but um, we'll see if we can find the tire. All right, guys, I found the tire <laughs> way out here. Yeah, the rim cracked on that impact and just blew it clean off the hex.
All right, guys, I checked the footage really close on that long jump, and it looked like it. Uh, she came down on one tire, kind of nose heavy, and then basically just uh, hobbled sideways a couple of feet. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, keep it at 265. This is an unofficial record, guys. I'm not saying uh, this is some kind of Guinness Book of World Records, but I've uh, had a lot of attempts, and I just wanted to get that thing past 262 feet, and she finally did it. So now we're gonna go for another high jump. I do hold the record at 95 feet high. That's a vertical height. I'm gonna see if I can exceed 100 feet. I have a Sky RC GPS strapped in here, which will measure the vertical height and uh, speed up to the ramp. Uh, I did bring my other ramp right here. This is a different one from the long jump ramp. This is basically my bash ramp, but it's what I get my vertical height with. All right, guys, got the GPS up. Again, I'm in flying mode, so it measures vertical height. Got a pretty strong headwind coming in, so this may get kind of sketchy. Want to see what happens. Woo, pretty good jump. Gonna stop, read. All right, it's 92 feet. First attempt, 92 feet, 85 miles an hour. See if we can get a little more speed out of it. Stop, read, 105 feet. There she is, guys. <laughs> we finally broke the 100 foot mark. 105 feet vertical height at 90 miles an hour. Pretty excited about that. Again, big shout out to M2C Racing. This car will not be able to take uh, these kind of jumps, jump after jump after jump. Some of them are bad landings uh, sideways. Uh, I've had a couple of tower hits and nothing has broken or bent on this car. So that's a big, uh, huge testament to the, to the durability of M2C parts. Had a whole lot of fun with the Typhon once again, just trying to get some extreme jumps. So again, big shout out to MTC Racing and Arma. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. RC281, peace out.